what is going on everyone welcome back to yet another video and today we are checking out need for speed heat on the steam deck oled so without further ado guys let's get straight into this all right guys so need for speed heat I'm still very early in this game, um, but we're working with around 50 to 60 frames. Oh. This guy can't stop talking. <laughs> Alright, let's turn it down a little bit. So yeah, we're working between 50 to 60 frames at the moment. Um, CPU is about 78%, which is not too bad. GPU is definitely heavy on. We've got, uh, we've got the RAM at 10.9 gigs, VRAM at 3.6. And we got a battery life at about 60, 65% and we're getting about an hour and 26 minutes out of that. So it's actually pretty, pretty good. And I've also locked the frame rate at 60 just because I don't really need anything more than that. And we're probably not going to get more than that even. So let's get straight into this and let's go to our first race. But one thing I can definitely say about this game is that it looks really good on the Steam Deck. I didn't really expect this to, you know, kind of really shine that much, but yeah, it looks really good. I'm pretty impressed by it. Um, I also forgot to show you the settings as well. So if we go to the graphic settings, there's not much going on for it, to be honest. So I don't know if you can see it on the screen here, but we do have full screen. We've got full screen device. We've got screen resolution, which is at 800p. And we've got vertical sync, which is off. Uh, HDR mode on auto, we've got resolution scale at 100, uh, motion blur, I don't know if you guys can see that, it's a bit, yeah, it's a bit overexposed, isn't it? Uh, motion blur is on and graphics quality is on auto. So funny enough, there's auto, there's low, medium and high and ultra. Um, you can also go to custom if you like to and you can uh, customize everything. But for this demonstration, I think I'm just going to leave everything on on um, auto just because it's been working really really well for me um, I don't think you need to really you know go into the custom settings just because again the visuals look already really good really really good unless if you would like to you know get more frame rates then fair enough but I think what we have right now is actually not too bad so we leave on auto and let's go back to the game now just to let you guys know there are licensed music in this game. Oh my gosh. <laughs> there, there is licensed music in this game. So I don't want to have the volume up too high. Uh, I'm not trying to get copyright by this. So yeah. Um, but yeah, man. Need for Speed Heat. I, I, I spent a lot of time playing this on the PlayStation. And I thought I'd pick this one up because it's actually uh, it's cheap on Steam at the moment. But I'm sure you can get it cheap everywhere else as well. So... It's not too bad, but I'm going to be honest with you. I kind of forgot how bad these starting cars are. They really aren't that great. They drift too much. Look, it's, it's just all over the place. But anyways, let's, um, let's get into this race. And let's see what we can do from here. Yeah, man, visuals are great. Looks really, really good. Okay, well, let's see how we do on this race. It's not looking good so far, though. It's not looking good, bruv. Oh, snap. Yeah, the, uh, the steering is a bit too slippery, man. Or maybe I chose the wrong car, dang it. Dang it! Oh yeah, I don't have no nos nivo. No natural. Get out of here, punk! Oh my lord of mercy, look at this. 
guys, if you ever see me in person and I'm driving, just don't come near me. Because you know what's going to be going on. Oh my gosh, my driving is absolutely trash. Look at this! Oh my days! What is going on? Wow! No, I can't make up. I'm I'm six, mate. I'm last. I can't believe this. Wow. Guys, I'm really sorry. Wow. Well, that was a terrible race. <laughs> I came freaking last. What do you mean you've seen worse? I came last. Oh man. At least I got some money. Wow. Well. Well, guys, <laughs> that was one race. Alright, head to the part shop and buy the NOS kit. So, I don't think that race I was expected to come first, to be honest. Man, look at this. Game looks clean. But yeah, if you really want to hit that that 60 frame mark you might as well just tone down the graphics you know but I think what from what I'm seeing right now it looks pretty good it feels good and oh, in a game like this you definitely want to have some good visuals with it as well you know you don't want anything less than what you can see right now otherwise it's just really not going to be an enjoyable experience and for those that have the Steam Deck OLED, um, this does support HDR as well, so that's actually a really nice little touch. Uh, especially when it's going to be like nighttime as well. It's going to look really, really nice. I did play the intro, and like it was our nighttime race. It looks really, really good. Ooh, baby girl's here now. What up, fine thing? Mate, why does she look so real? <laughs> like, compared to my guy. Alright, so we are back. Uh, let Anna introduce you to the night racing scene. Oh, yes, that's what we definitely want. Sorry if you hear my dog barking. Oops. Let's see where we can go from here. Let's uh, set the destination so we know where to go. Yep, I <laughs> definitely went the wrong way. I do, I remember when I um, tried out New for Speed Unbound and I don't know man, something about that game that didn't really feel that right. But maybe I need to give it a proper go and see see how I like it, you know. Um, cool. Make a name for yourself. Okay, you can see how bright this is. The nighttime races. There's a race down the beach. So you want me to follow you? Wait, did I not get NOS? Yeah, nighttime seems to be really good on here, to be honest. Colors are nice and vi vibrant. The whites are white, blacks are black. Looking good. It's a great showcase for the Steam Deck OLED, honestly. Sharp colors. Sharp contrasts. Yeah. So at the moment, we are getting about 50 frames. Looking really, really good. Close to 60. 
on the default um, graphic settings, which is actually not bad. I see Kenny in the back. Let's see if we can catch up to him. One complaint I have with the Steam Deck in general is the vibrations. It's not really that strong. I mean, I can understand why just because they want to save the battery and stuff, but like, it's really not that strong. I really do like when uh, controllers like, vibrate a lot because it just keeps you really engaged into the game, you know? That's why I really love the um, DualSense, DualSense controllers. They're really, really good. If you've never tried them before, honestly, some of the best, best haptics you will feel in any sort of controller. Oh, 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 sorry, mate. Oh, god damn. I'm definitely not going to win this race. <laughs> oh, man. Here we go, guys. Man, look at everyone's doped out, doped out, specked out cars, and I'm just here rolling with some little vehicle. Yeah, I don't have NOS, do I? Oh! Bastard. Absolute bastard, mate. They, they just they just ran me into the corner, boy. And yeah, now I know how to drift. Look. I'm not fast enough, guys. Uh-oh. All right, I'm six at the moment. There's eight people in the in the in the race. Yeah, if you gave me NOS, I would have been first by now. Here we go. Catching up, guys. No! God dang it. I mean, I came third. That's definitely better than the uh, previous race. guys thank you for tuning in to my need for speed heat gameplay video for the steam deck oled um i think you guys can get an idea of what the game plays like um i can't imagine it being anything worse than this just because it's a racing game but honestly really really good performance looks absolutely beautiful i can't wait to check out some more but guys thank you for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and let me know in the comment down below if you're going to be picking this up if you already have it let me know which car you're driving at the moment. So guys, take it easy and peace.